What's up guys? Um, we're gonna be playing uh, World of Attrition or whatever the fuck it's supposed to be. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna call it WOA, which is a Big Nukem 3D mod, a very good one, actually one of the best to be honest. And uh, so let's see what comes out of it. I think this is a very good mod, really. I mean, it's got lots of new features. Just look. You can play a uh, high score challenge, random missions, which is what we're gonna see now, original levels, which obviously are the original levels of the game, War of Attrition, and Metropolitan Mayhem, which I believe one of them is like a survival mode, like you gotta hold out for as long as you can while they throw waves of enemies at you, and I think Metropolitan Mayhem is um, an actual episode. But I don't remember, it's been a while since I played this, but I'll get into that later. So, random missions, let's go kick some ass. Okay, so this is the main screen, like when you start the, the chapter or episode, whatever. Uh, you get to choose a weapon that you're gonna carry all the time, along with your uh, pistol, you know, the main pistol from the game. I always end up choosing the shot cannon or the plane thrower because well you can always get the freeze the uh, blaster and the shrinker and or expander from the game you know there's always always laying around while I have never seen the shot cannon and the plane thrower on their own without choosing them on this screen so let's go with the with the flame thrower yeah so yeah as you can see there's a uh, like a little bar at the bottom right corner that's uh, kind of the experience po points you have for the current weapon you're holding and uh, it you can upgrade it but you don't get to choose what upgrades uh, you get you just level up and the upgrades are automatic so um, I don't know still it's pretty good though it's pretty fun See, those numbers over there are the uh, amount of experience I got from the kill. Varies depending on difficulty of the enemy and the weapon you're using, I think. Yeah, this map's... I, I think I played this map before, it's pretty good. I remember it being hard as shit though, so it's probably now that is fucking awesome. See the uh, little bullets uh, in the bottom right corner there. You know you can actually reload the pistol um, at will here. Look, you press the L fire button and it just uh, reloads. That's another thing. Most weapons now. After a while, you know, after you upgrade them a few levels, have a, an outfire mode, which is pretty awesome. Oh shit. There you go, bitch. There's also this, um... The alien blaster or the alien web weapon, whatever the fuck it is. You get to use it instead of a... Uh, they, they sometimes drop this instead of the pistol, so it's pretty good. Ah, forgot to turn off mirroring, it's annoying as shit, at least to me, so I don't really use it. Well, this is, uh, you can see the only, as you can see I never got any upgrades yet, but uh, you can check all the upgrades you got so far on this screen, it's pretty good too. I don't know man, it's pretty uh, overall awesome this mod, you know, it uh, really brings new life to, to the whole game, which is very hard since it's... I mean, the game itself is pretty fun uh, all the time, like you can play any time of your life and it's still gonna be fun, but I don't know man, it brings something fresh to the whole game, you know, like for example, I beat the game countless times and all these maps and features and shit just really make it worth playing again and again and again, because you know, you're, nev you're never gonna get bored with this mod, it's really difficult to get bored with this. 
It's a uh, it's an amazing mod, yeah. Damn right. Okay, so... I always say to end up using the shotgun the most. I'm gonna, not, I'm gonna try not to do that now. Um, Cause you know, it's boring. But I always end up just shooting with the shotgun all the time. Like that. Shit. It doesn't help that they give you all the shotgun ammo available. See, that's what I was talking about. You get the shrinker like from anywhere, and the freeze blaster too. So. Oh shit. Now, I know it seems like it's really slow now, with the... SHIT! With the uh, RPG, but it does get better as you upgrade the weapon, you know, like, you get Ryan speed and shot speed and the whole shit, and it really gets like a very destructive weapon on the whole. So yeah, it's pretty awesome. Um. That didn't go well. Um, see, I got an upgrade there, and uh, yeah, that's the first upgrade too. I think <coughs> you can also get upgrades for the uh, kick. See that shit I did, and uh, you get combos and shit. And it's pretty awesome. As for the maps, well, uh, most of them are really good, like really good, but uh, some of them, even though they're still good, some of them are very cryptic, like, you know, there's a lot of shit you just gotta figure out, like, I don't know, it may seem like it makes the game more challenging, but it actually it's frustrating, because at some point there's like a, a hidden switch somewhere and shit that, you know, and I don't know, man, it's just because, whatever, I feel like challenging you're gonna love that, anyway. Uh, okay, so. <laughs> That's Death Rage. Once you get your ass kicked, you get uh, Death Rage, which is what you just got. It makes you uh, invulnerable for a few seconds. Where's this son of a bitch? Oh, there you go. That's nuke energy, which uh, lets you unleash, I don't know, a huge ass explosion in case you get outnumbered. Well, you're always a number, but you know what I mean. Like, you get really bad, you can always throw that shit. Wow. Well, Shields is... It's awesome. It does run out though. There are a few bullets.
There you go. We're gonna upgrade the uh, items too. As you can see, the um, it's been upgraded a couple of times. The medical kit and the asteroid just got upgraded when I grabbed them. If you know you you see a pickup flashing, an item flashing, it's uh, I mean blinking. It means it's an upgrade rather than the item itself. Oh, that's a double kill. Oh shit. This is the kind of cryptic shit I was talking about earlier, like, um, this part for example, how the fuck was I supposed to know this was a switch? I was looking around the room for minutes, I don't know, for a couple of minutes, like 20 minutes, and then I realized I could press this, but you know, like, why don't you, why not, when you use um, a switch sprite or a button sprite or whatever the fuck, instead of this, I mean, I've never seen this before, but it turns out it was a switch, so yeah, I don't know. Um, oh shit. He was, no, he wasn't closed. It was, should we? Uh, I think, nah. Oh, right. I think the red key you got was up there or something. Yeah, I think I missed it. Yeah. Alright, so gotta get the red door. Keep kicking Ellie's ass. Time to bring the pain. Ah. There's also a shit ton of new one-liners, you know, and uh, quotes from other Duke Nukem games. See, that's from Duke Nukem 4. Oh shit! There you go, bitch. Why don't you suck this down, bitch? What the fuck? Oh shit! Burn! You saw it, right? The fucking rockets going through him? What the fuck was that? See? I got another upgrade. Um... Okay, so... There you are. Holy shit! Rate of fire! When you pick that shit up, you just see what happens, you get like... Much faster gray of fire. Oh shit. Sorry, I'm just not used to playing and talking at the same time. I gotta get used to it if I wanna keep making let's plays. There you go. Oh shit! Ah, this was some other cryptic bullshit. It didn't take me as long as the whole switch thing to figure it out, but it was it was also cryptic as shit. Like I thought you had to throw it around here, you know, as all these cables, but now you gotta throw it right here, and it gets really hard to just uh, get it there. And sometimes it, it bounces off and shit, so you you kind of think like you know you can't do that, but you actually can. You just gotta you know like get the right angle. Anyway. Oh, pick up some health. Yeah, more equipment means more ass kicking. Okay. Yeah. So, so a timer mod for pipe bombs, which, uh, well. It's pretty self-explanatory. Oh 
I'd rather use the trigger mount because you know it's the uh, one I'm used to. Now this is like the RPG, it gets really slow at first but you can always upgrade that shit as long as you kill a lot of assholes with this. I think that's a boss. Yeah, I fucking know it. Fuck you asshole! Ah oh, shit. There's also lots of new enemies, like it's old sprites, it's like this one, but the enemies do new shit, you know? And I don't know, it's pretty cool. Oh shit. Hey, this a bitch. Whew. 